Dedicated supporters and cyclists will make the trek from the capital to Melbourne, raising vital funds and awareness for ovarian cancer, opening up to win news about their motivation and how their families have been touched by rare forms of the disease. A 900 kilometre ride from Parliament House to the MCG, pedalling to pledge support for women with ovarian cancer. And the pain of being told your child has cancer is horrendous, though then the next step of being told that there's no research. Hoping to change that, Ride for Research has raised $100,000 in counting, funding essential research at the Hudson Institute. Now, knowing that we have you know, research going forward, it gives you that hope. The real value of raising all that money is the awareness. A cause close to home for the man behind it, riding for his wife, battling a rare type. Uh, a roller coaster of uh, different therapies and treatments uh, and, and nothing is working. Started spreading the word to, to some close mates who I knew were up for a challenge like this. One of those mates, another dedicated cyclist and dad, doing it for his daughter. My daughter was diagnosed at 19. Um, she's had two surgeries, uh, one to remove the tumour and then the second one to remove her left ovary. And making her proud. She's over the moon. Like She posts all the time on, on social media about what I'm doing. Ovarian cancer researcher Dr Shu also joining the fleet and reminding Aussies to keep an eye out for symptoms seen on these awareness wings. Gets me out of the lab but it also puts me in touch and, and, and on this ride with su such motivational um, people. They'll take off from Canberra on Sunday to donate head to the Rock Inc website. Brooke Roth, Win News.